Hello and welcome back to Nan Loves Food. I'm Anne here today with another video for you. Today we are going to do a very special video on a peanut butter cold brew and I'm so excited about this. But first, uh, I have a little announcement to make. Uh, I have not been around the YouTube space for a couple of months now uh, because uh, I've got a stowaway. Um, that gives me an excuse to eat tacos for two. So, uh, baby girl has uh, been making me a little sick, uh, and so that has had to slow down my YouTube filming. But nevertheless, we are back, feeling okay now, uh, and hopefully we'll keep putting out great content for you uh, all around food. So today is a peanut butter cold brew recipe. It is inspired by Gideon's, which is a place down in Disney Springs, among other places, I understand they have a few locations. But when you take the words peanut butter and you take the words cold brew and you put them together, I feel like I need to be a part of what's going on there. So I'm gonna show you this quick and easy recipe. Uh, I found a dupe online. We're just gonna follow that and see how she does. So let's get started. Because there is peanut butter in this recipe, it does require a blender. So I'm gonna dump all of my ingredients in here and just blend it up. We're gonna start with the liquids um, in hopes that that helps the peanut butter not stick to the bottom. If you start with something glumpy like that, glumpy, clumpy, sticky at the bottom, um, you're more likely to have it stick to the bottom of the blender. So we'll start with the liquid and then we'll add in the peanut butter. I'll also link the recipe down below so you've got measurements that you can follow. If you're into measuring, you know I'm not. We'll do it for this one. So the recipe that I found actually calls for cold brew concentrate, which I don't have. Uh, I'm just using this brand of cold brew coffee. It's fine. I don't have a strong preference for cold brew brands. Uh, we're gonna take Since we don't have the concentrate, I'm just gonna take equal amounts of cold brew with equal amounts of oat milk and toss that into the blender. I'm using this brand of oat milk. <clears throat> I haven't really found a brand of oat milk that I'm in love with. Uh, this was what was on sale at Target, um, so I grabbed it. But if you have a brand of oat milk that you really think is superior, let me know. I'd love to love to give that a try. I find some of them feel a bit gummy on my tongue, like after I'm done drinking. Not a fan of that. Okay, one and a half cups of oat milk. We are going to do three tablespoons of sugar. I'm using raw cane sugar. I'm sure any kind of sugar would be fine. And three tablespoons of peanut butter. So the cool thing about this is that, uh, I'm just using a Trader Joe's brand peanut butter. Uh, two tablespoons is a serving size and we're actually gonna use three in this cold brew. So that means our little, that means our cold brew is gonna actually have 12 grams of protein in it because there's eight grams of protein per serving. So that'll be one and a half times a serving. So, I mean, that seems like a really good excuse to drink this. So three tablespoons of peanut butter. Now I'm just swishing my little uh, tablespoon down around in the 
liquid to try and get as much of that off as I possibly can. The recipe says to blend on high for two minutes. That seems a little excessive to me, uh, but we'll go ahead and blend it until we feel like it's all the way blended. So I only blended that for about 30 seconds. Um, I have a feeling I have a much higher speed blender than she does. She was actually using a food processor uh, in a video she posted, the gal who made this recipe. She also took some cocoa powder and sprinkled it on top, which I'm sure would be lovely, but um, seems like a lot of work that isn't gonna add any flavor. So here we are. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh man, that is so good. It's peanut buttery, it's sweet, it's creamy. Highly recommend this. Um, I did get quite a bit of froth, which I think is adding a lot from my, my high speed blender. So I'd recommend using a high speed blender if you have one. If not, food processor will work just fine. Um, dang, this is good. I mean, I thought it'd be okay, but hmm. Um, and just so you know, caffeine is fine if you're pregnant. You just have to keep it under a certain number of milligrams a day. So uh, no worries there. I will enjoy this very much and it will be my one and only for the day. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, like I said, I do hope to be back with some regular content here coming soon. But if not, it's because uh, baby girl is causing some difficulties and working full time and doing YouTube and growing a human uh, is a lot of work. So um, I'll do the best I can uh, for the next coming months. Uh, she is due in June. So uh, we'll see how consistent I can be between now and then. But uh, once she gets here and everybody is happy and healthy, the plan is to go back to posting regular content on this channel. So I hope you'll hang with me through that journey. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.